Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Ruben Arana Downs and I am just going to give you this very brief video presentation on the process of design. So I've been working as a designer for several years now, probably about 15 or so, and there is a certain process that I want to share with you that really helps me out in terms of really understanding the steps that I take that and you can take in order to go from a idea to a finished product. Okay, so that first step is your level of commitment. The first thing that you want to do when you receive an assignment or when you're going to take on an assignment is determine what level of commitment you want to have to that assignment. So if you know that if you know that you're you're measuring your how much time you have and all your all the different activities in your life and you receive an assignment to design a project to design a set you are going to decide you're going to need to decide how much time do I want to commit to this once you've decided how much time you want to commit commit to it you go to the next step which is analysis the analysis stage is when you start to in a sense ask questions what kind of questions are you going to ask to the person that's given you the assignment or maybe to yourself? So you start asking yourself, what, how much time do I have to do this project? Or how much, how much money do I have to do this project? Or what are my, what are my labor, what are my labor limitations in order to do this project? So you start to figure out what kind of, what kind of commitment or what level of commitment you're going to need to have by asking a series of questions. Once you have those questions asked, you need to do something something about it. So you basically research. So you start to research those the, the answer to those questions. So if you have the opportunity to talk to your a producer or a director or somebody who's giving you the assignment, your teacher, you can ask you can actually get the answers to your questions from your from the people who have given you the assignment. So if you find if you get if you receive an assignment and you you need to find out what level of commitment you need to have for it and so you ask, you know, when is this assignment going to be due? They tell you in about two weeks. You've done the research and you've figured out, okay, two weeks, that's fine. I can do that, do it in that amount of time. Or you know what? I want to have to move some other things out of the way in order for me to get this accomplished in the time frame that we have. So you ask, you ask the questions and you and you do the research in order to get that completed. After you do the research comes a period of incubation. Okay. Now let me backtrack a little bit because a lot of this stuff relates to one another. So if, so if for example, you've received the assignment, you decide you're going to commit wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly to it, you start to actually now formulate some ideas that you want to commit to. And you start to start to imagine what kind, what the project is going to start to look like. You start to analyze what you what you have researched. So now you've researched some information, you know, you know what kind of colors you might want to use or the time frame that's going to be. You analyze that research and decide, oh, you know what, this is this, I like this aspect or I like this part of this research or I like, I like how this part of my research comes together. And once you've, in, once you've taken in all of that research and information, you've analyzed it as well, you go through a phase now called incubation. The incubation phase is actually one of my favorite ones it's because you, this is where you just let the information just sit in you and, and, and you just relax. You let it marinate in your mind and, and you do other things, other activities so that you're not constantly thinking about your project. As you're living your life, your life will start to water you and nourish you and actually nourish those thoughts and ideas that you have about your project, about your design. So after the incubation process happens, then what'll, what'll happen is those, those ideas and the research that you've taken in are almost like seeds, okay? And those seeds start to sprout out. And those seeds sprout out and form basically basically new and new ideas 
that you go to the next step, which is called the selection process, the selection step, and you take those ideas that have just sprouted out and actually select which one you want. So it's like, okay, now that this idea has sprouted out, I now can select and I select, okay, I like how this one looks and I like how this one looks and I take those couple of ideas and I go to my next step, which is called implementation. I implement what I'm going to do with with the with the ideas that I just that are that are just developed, and I actually start to create something with those ideas. So, if um, if I'm a florist and I create a I'm creating a bouquet of flowers, so that has to be designed. So after I've picked out which flowers I want, I take those flowers and I arrange them in a certain in a certain way. So I take those take the, I, the flowers that I want and I implement them in a certain in a certain arrangement and now I have a design after I have that arrangement I have implemented it now I can take it to the next step which is an evaluation I take a look at what I've done and to see how effective it is how well it works out and to see if it's going to accomplish the purpose that that was intended in terms of my commitment okay so that was very quick. I will certainly be glad to give you more information, fuller details on that and if you go ahead to my website and register and I can get you a lot more information. All right, so take care and thank God.